Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, it has been a slow day yesterday. It also is a slow day today. Um, we are dealing with sideways consolidation just above the red support line. We talked yesterday about, by the way, this is just a 30 minute chart because bigger picture wise, really nothing has changed, but we talk from time to time also about the bigger picture. Maybe we'll do that in one of the next videos again. Um, if you're interested, um, just you know, subscribe to the channel and then you will be notified oops, about the um, about the next Solana video. By the way, also as silver and gold members, you can get access to our live charts. So you get 24 seven access and you see immediately when there are any changes made um, on the charts to the charts. We also have a long term Solana chart that's accessible 24 um, seven. But yeah, the overall, you know, the, the overall situation wave count hasn't changed here. But what I can tell you is that this choppy sideways action that started after the um, third wave low here from Sunday, this sideways action is very much overlapping, boring, and doesn't clearly indicate that a low has formed. Of course, it's possible. Wave two might have bottomed here on the 11th of August. Absolutely but then I need some kind of a signal for that. A first step would be a break above the Monday high, which is located at $150.80, followed by a break above the red trend line. This is one that I'm watching definitely here. We've got one, two, three, four touch points. So these trend lines don't appear every day and a breakout above a trend line with four touch points. I'm not talking about that you know, this sort of micro triangle here. This is too small, in my op opinion. You also have three touch points here, but I mean, these micro patterns are really prone to fake outs, in my opinion. Of course, a fake out could also happen here if we get a break above the red line, absolutely. But it's just um, a more meaningful pattern. You know, the larger time frames, larger degrees, they are often a little bit more meaningful. So I pay attention to this and Ideally, we get a bit of action today because we are now, you know, you see the price could be in this wave too. The support areas are clear. I mean, support levels are clear between $140.58 and $119.65. The idea is still that we can follow the yellow wave count, which is the bullish one, as long as we're holding above 119.65 USD. So that's also, that also means we could get another low easily, possibly targeting 134, 128 next. Mm. But the um, so support is clear, but obviously we're heading into the apex of a triangle and wave fours can be triangles. Difficult to say how exactly the labeling of that triangle is. These are usually very unreliable, but triangles are five wave patterns. So wave A, B, you know, m maybe C, I don't know, D, E, doesn't really look right. So I think it will be stretched out a little bit further. Important is that any break below hundred forty one dollars and twenty which is the Monday low or break above hundred fifty dollars eighty pretty much yeah that would indicate a breakout of course we've got the trend lines but yeah I think a break above or below the high and the low point are more meaningful either way the support area is clearly defined the risk for one more low is there um, that's not the same as saying there will be another low, but the risk is high because this move up is very choppy and indicates rather local trend continuation to the downside. At the same time, a proper um, upside breakout signal would be here, a break above the red line. And that would indicate that, yep, possibly the third wave is unfolding and could send us to $245 or higher. Seems far away but it's based on Fibonacci mathematics. It's based on the length of circle wave one. So, but again, it depends on where circle wave two bottoms. We have no low in place. That is pretty much a, let's call it a moving target zone. It could easily still change. It is still subject to change as charts always are, <laughs> but I think the parameters are very clear. The other thing that I mentioned yesterday is here, the potential for a head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder here. And we could get one more low and then take off from there or something. So that is what I'm watching here at the moment for the Solana chart. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.